Hello folks, another day, another print with new materials for me. And today I want to show you my uh, try to print Creality uh, CR PET G filament, right? And this is a standard diameter 1.75, 1 kg, and extruder temperature from 230 to 250. So basically almost uh, maximum. So this is uh, the look of the filament in general, right? And I need to say that I was able to print several items. This is one of them, and you can check uh, texture of the surface. And I need to say that it looks really amazing, and it's very sleek uh, and pleasant on touch. And obviously it's very sturdy. So I'm using this organizer for my stuff, what I need to, to place uh, inside. Um, and everything was okay. I mean, standard settings of the slicer, standard settings of the filament on my K2 Creality Plus printer. So if you want to try, uh, you know, safely PET-G, you can do this with uh, Creality. Uh, Creality CR Pet G, because what why I'm saying that because I have Polymiker white uh, Polylite Pet G, and I have a lot of issues with this material. I know I need to try to dry it. I don't have a dryer yet, but with you know default settings out of the box, I have a lot of issues. It's bending. It's not sticking to the uh, build plate. Uh, it's you know. Uh, build up a blob and clock and all other issues for me, for example, with this pet G. So, that's why I'm saying if you want to try a safe way to print pet G, if you are a newcomer like me, like you, I have only one month of experience with, with all of that, and uh, you, you, sh you know, you want to have a like a stable result without uh, digging inside the settings, forums and YouTube videos, just check this out. For now, I can recommend this filament for sure.